Hi, this is Thunder E from BodoWork.com, and today we're taking a look at the Kingston HyperX Beast. Now, this is a top of the line high grade memory. We're actually going to use this on our Intel build, which we'll see in a couple of days. So, we just wanted to show you the memory first. The HyperX Beast here is top of the line memory, it goes up to 2400 megahertz, and is used with the following cheap uh, chipsets you'll see below, including the Intel Z77 chipset. Um, so this is a very solid uh, piece of memory. Now let's take a look at what we have here. Now uh, we have the 64 gigabyte kit, so um, showing the memory itself. You can see here, nice solid memory module. You can see the um, heat sink applied onto it. Uh, it's raised and has a nice jaggy edge uh, on top, giving you that very rough, rough um, you know, beast-like look to it. Again, it comes from, uh, basically you can get uh, from 8 gigabytes all the way up to 64. We have the 64 gigabyte pack here. Also, we got, uh, Kingston gave us the, um, uh, the cooling fan for the memory, similar to what they have in the past. Very simple to assemble. Uh, if you get the 64 gigabyte, you can get uh, two of them. Just show you quickly how to install the cooling fan that actually lights up. Just not sure what color it is. I mean, not install, assemble. We will show you uh, how it installs uh, once we do uh, finish our Intel build and we'll show you on there. But it's pretty easy. You have two pieces which you slide one and lock in. We have the other piece here. And we're just going to lock that in. Twist, 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 twist. Like guys right here, and boom, and then you basically clip this down onto your uh, uh, memory module, and you connect the fan piece uh, so it can actually cool down. And that's pretty much it. Um, so uh, we'll show you how this all assembles in our build, but we just wanted to quickly show you the Kingston HyperX piece, which is a very 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 solid piece of um, hardware which will be using our Intel build now should be doing some pretty cool stuff with it alright guys thank you very much